Hello, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to read you a story called The Strongest in the Forest by me, Rachel. I hope you enjoy it. Have you ever been into a forest where the trees are so tall that you can't even see the top? Have you ever been into a forest that's so thick you can't even see the birds but you can hear them? Have you ever been into a forest that's so quiet that all you can hear is the rustling of the leaves? Have you ever found a clearing in the forest where you can look for forest creatures and sit on logs and make dens and play with your friends? That's exactly where we find Millie, Billy, Tilly and Willie in the middle of a huge forest. The four friends have been playing for hours, but they're beginning to get a little tired now and very hungry. They decide to open up their picnic basket. Inside they find jam sandwiches, ham sandwiches, crisps, bananas and custard tarts. To drink they had some forest fruits squash. Millie picked up a banana to eat. I'm going to eat a banana because I'm going to grow up to be big and strong. Uh, not as strong as me, said Billy. Well, you're not as strong as me, replied Tilly. Uh, actually, I am stronger than all of you, said Willie. No, I am the strongest. No, I am. No, I am. No, I am. I am the strongest in the world. All the forest children began shouting over each other in their loudest, strongest voices until... What? If you really want to see which of you four is strong, I suggest you follow me to find out who is right and who is wrong. What? Is that? exclaimed Millie, looking up at the sky. Ah, oh, it's a buzzard, announced Billy, pointing up at the huge brown bird circling above their heads. Well, come on, let's follow her, declared Tilly. I'll bring the flask in case we get thirsty, mumbled Willie as he grabbed the flask ready to set off after the others. The buzzer began to fly above the trees, weaving in and out, under and over branches, as the four forest children followed from below. What are you called? yelled Tilly as she jumped over a stream. Uh, she's called a common buzzard. It's the most common type of buzzard, began to explain Billy. But what's her name? Everyone has a name, interrupted Willie. You can call me Mrs Buzz, squawked Mrs Buzz from up high. Millie, Billy, Tilly and Willie followed Mrs Buzz through the trees. Across the river, up the hill and down the hill. Eventually they arrived in a very quiet, very still grassy meadow. In the middle of the meadow was one ginormous tree. Its trunk was the thickest that any of them had ever seen. Its bark was the roughest that any of them had ever felt. Its leaves rustled louder than any of them had ever heard. And its blossom was sweeter than any of them had ever smelt. The four forest children stood silently looking up at the tree. Mrs. Buzz sat on a branch smiling down at them. Let's bash the tree down, shouted Millie. I wonder what type of tree it is, said Billy. I'm going to climb to the top, declared Tilly. Uh, be gentle, there might be creatures living in there, hushed Willie. Quack! In this great, big, enormous tree, I need a house for my babies and me. It must be up high towards the sky. In winter, keep us warm and dry. You four will help me to build the nest. Perhaps working together shall work best. Then we shall see just who is strong and who is right and who is wrong. The forest children immediately get to work. I'm going to build the biggest house for Mrs Buzz, declared Millie. Uh, we need to gather some wood, suggested Billy. I'll go back into the deep, dark forest to collect some, said Tilly. Uh, be careful, Tilly, it's getting dark. I'll come with you to help, encouraged Willie. 
the forest children set off collecting wood for Mrs Buzz's treehouse. Millie manages to drag 20 logs from the forest. Billy manages to drag 10 logs from the forest. Tilly manages to drag 5 logs from the forest. Willie also manages to drag 5 logs from the forest. But he drops one on his foot. I am the strongest! I am the strongest! celebrated Millie. No, you're not! shouted Tilly. And too, I carried the most logs, so I am the strongest! insisted Millie. What? The strongest muscles might be Millie. She did drag the most logs and wood. But let's not do anything silly. I want my house to be strong and good. How many logs on each side? We need someone to hatch a plan. We need someone to decide. Someone to organise the clan. Easy. Let's just throw the logs up there, yelled Millie. No, I'll go right to the top and I'll catch them, said Tilly. But you will fall, Tilly. We need to make sure we are all safe, urged Willie. Once again, all the forest children began to squabble and shout. Shh! Hush, Billy. But we need to get a plan together. We have 40 logs. The house is going to have four sides. So we need 10 logs on each side, right? But Billy, how are we going to get the logs up there? Questioned Willie. I suggest we form a human chain, announced Billy, so we can pass the logs to each other to get them to the top of the tree safely. All the forest children fell silent as they listened to Billy's instructions. Just then, Mrs Buzz returned above their heads. Squawk! Every group needs a strong leader. That's great strength from Billy's brain. Sounds like he's a keen book reader. Great idea to form a human chain. See, Mrs Buzz thinks it's a great plan. So, who's going to do at the end of the chain? Right at the top of the tree. <laughs> Not me says Millie. Not me, says Willie. You do it, says Millie. It was your idea. No way. I'm not climbing to the top of the tree. It's too high, refused Billy. I'll do it, declares Tilly. I'm not scared of anything. The four forest children form a human chain. Millie passes logs to Billy. Billy passes logs to Willie. Willie passes logs to Tilly. And Tilly puts all the logs in the right place at the top of the tree. Willie is busy passing logs when he feels a big splosh on his nose. Uh-oh. It's gonna rain. Just then the skies open. <laughs> Quick, get the roof on, ordered Billy. The four forest children scampered quick to get the last remaining logs, twigs, leaves and mud all in place to make Mrs Buzz's treehouse secure. Then they all scampered inside. <sighs> Done. All the forest children sat inside in a new, warm, dry treehouse. They watched the rain lash down through the window. <laughs> Good job you finished in time bragged Millie. Look at that kid out there in the rain. All the forest children laughed, all apart from Willie. That's not kind. She looks sad and cold and wet. So, she should have thought about that and built herself a tree house, said Billy smugly. All the forest children laughed again, all apart from Willie again. Just then Willie got up and left the tree house into the rain, into the wind, and into the cold. Hey! Hey! he yelled. Come up here in the dry! The little girl smiled and began to climb the tree. Take my hand, urged Willie. Willie pulled up the little girl through the branches into the tree house. You're safe now, he smiled. Thank you, she smiled. As the forest children introduced themselves and began to get to know their new friend, there was a knock at the door. It was Mrs Buzz. Mrs Buzz came into the treehouse and shook the rain from her feathers. Wowza! 
what an achievement you all have made to build such a fabulous house nest and what important roles you all have played using your strengths to their best. Muscles were needed from Millie, your arms were so strong. Brains were needed from Billy, your thoughts were so strong. Bravery was needed from Tilly, your courage was so strong. And kindness was needed from Willie, your heart was so strong. So who is the strongest in the forest? All of you, together, for now and forever. The end. We know that times are tough and that's why our roundabout stories are free for you to view. But if you would like to make a donation we would be very grateful for your support. Your gift could help us deliver drama therapy support to children and vulnerable adults who are really struggling at this time of heightened anxiety and isolation. You can make a real difference to the lives of people coping with trauma, disabilities or challenging mental health issues. Thank you for your support.